Hey Pokemon people, Mikey here, and today I want to share with you guys uh, my personal collection. A few guys, a few of you guys have been asking, hey Mikey, can you show us your personal collection? So that's what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> I have numerous binders. Um, this, these aren't all my binders, but uh, there's a few. These are a few of them. This is my older binder of stuff that. Uh, I've been collecting. I've been collecting for about 11 years now. So, um, this is my newer stuff. And this binder is full of my special not for trade things. Uh, this binder is a few of my fake cards. And this binder is uh, miscuts and misprints and crimp cards and things like that. So, um, let's do this, all right? Um, I've been collecting for, like I said, 11, about 11 years. Uh, we're going to start off with my older stuff. So, let's do this. Alrighty. Let's put this out on camera. Oh, gosh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm sorry. I need to... Alright. Here we go. Alright. So, um... These aren't all my cards. Uh, I, like I said, I have m numerous binders. I just recently moved, so um, I definitely have um, more binders. I have a huge Eevee collection that I will definitely willing be willing to share with you guys. So let's get this started. Uh, we have some X uh, level X cards. Uh, this is when, uh, like, this was uh, during. Uh, what is this set like? Um, Supreme Victors and um, Plasma, that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a lot of EXs. I mean, a lot of level Xs. This is what I have. Um, I played Glaceon level X back in the day. That was amazing. I loved it. Um, I also played Dialga. I played Dialga back in the day. Um, these are some of my promos that I've earned. Um, this is from the Triumphant uh, pre-release. This is from, this was one of my first ever cities I've judged at. And it says staff there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says staff. Um, this is a Tropius that's a pre-release card. Uh, this Undaunted, I actually judged at all three of these tournaments at the bottom. So you see uh, the staff there and then staff there and staff right there. Um, <clears throat> this is from the Regionals Championship. Uh, uh, Destiny Deoxys uh, pre-release. I didn't play in this. I actually traded someone for this card. Same thing with the Pokemon Rocks America. I just missed this. This came out in 2005, but I was able to trade for that. I actually played at Nationals this year for that. That one, that's one of my first nationals, I think. Um, going on, we have more promos. We have tons of promos that I've earned over the years by just playing in them or trading for them. Like this Aerodactyl, I didn't play back then. Uh, I had gotten out just as Fossil came in. Um, and then got back into it in like 2005. So uh, this one I was able to trade for. Now we're moving on to uh, uh, like it was Undaunted and Triumphant, those kind of uh, sets. Uh, this is where the Primes and the Legend cards were. So, if you guys can see these, what happened is they actually released two different cards, two separate cards. And in order for you to play this card down, you had to play both of them at the same time. So, you had to have both of the cards in your hand at the same time, which caused an issue because it made the deck slow. But some of these actually were actually played. Like, there was a, a Lugia deck. If you can see this Lugia. There was a Lugia deck and then Entei Raikou. Entei Raikou, psh, I seen I seen numerous decks back in the day played that, um, especially for Thunderfall. Discard all the energies attached to Entei Raikou. 
This attack does 30 to each uh, each Pokemon that has any Poke powers. So if you had a Pokemon power, which is uh, basically a Pokemon ability, if you had any of those, you would take 80 damage. So it was it was pretty good. Um, here is a secret rare Meowth. This is actually from Noble Victories. We have more um, legend cards. Uh, Palkia Dialga, Suicune Entei. Um, and then we have Secret Rare Pikachu. And then we have Birthday Pikachu, which I was able to trade for. It's actually really adorable. As you can see. And then we're going to move over into some Primes. Primes were out back in uh, Triumphant and those sets. And that was just before Black and White. So uh, we're moving on to there. So you can see we have Mew Prime, Espeon Prime, Gengar Prime, uh, Umbreon Prime. We have Absol Prime, Tyranitar Prime, Sizzle Prime. So... Um, we have uh, Celebi Prime, which I actually played. It was pretty good because it lets you attach a extra energy, a extra grass energy for your turn. And I also played Yamega Prime. Yamega has sort of the same type of attack that uh, the new Yamega has from Steam Siege, uh, where uh, if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent this uh each attack cost is zero so you are able to attack for free a lot of the time which was really good and then you played it with uh with magnezone which magnezone had magnetic draw where once during your turn you may draw a card until you have six cards in your hand and so you played both of these together and you were able to do a lot of manipulation to your hand to help you get even so with your opponent so that was good um we're now moving on to black and white stuff uh we have uh zekrom which i will show you in a second i'll go back but um we have the verzian uh Trachion, and the kobolian um these two cards which i don't think you actually can see this is from the very first black and white set but for the Reshiram's and the Zekrom's, um, their pre-release printing of them, the cards are slightly different. Like, you can't, I can't see at all which one is different, but there's one of them is different. But Zekrom, though, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Um, let me hope this. There is, if you look at the background of the Zekrom, you can see this one's dark and that one's gray so the two printings is slightly different and then we have thunderous and tornadoes and then we have secret rares uh these are actually the shiny versions of the pokemon so uh they're actually really really sweet and so they had copies of the actual just normal card and then they had a secret uh, shiny version of each card and so I tried to collect all of those too um, As you can see my Gardevoir um, This guy here uh, They would be in my like the Zekrom and the Zark would be in my misplay binder. I mean in my uh, misprint binder, but I wanted to keep them in this set because of that so if you notice, there is a misprint with this guy, these two guys. All right, I'm going to show you a normal card. If you look here, <clears throat> this Cub Chew has a little swoop here. On basic Pokemon, they have one swoop. And then on um, a stage one, it would have two swoops. And on a stage three, it has one, two, three. But the first printing of Zorark actually has three swoops on top. So you can see the difference, the three and then the two of the Zorark, which, oh, it made me so happy when I found out about this that I had to get them 
So I went hunting for uh, the pre-release version of it. So, because I wasn't fortunate enough to pull one during the pre-release. Um, now we're going on to the black and white um, EX series, like Next Destinies and Dark Explorers and things like that. Um, so these are the first couple of those sets. And we're moving on. Um, and then this is the Legendary Treasures uh, promo. So it released the Tornadus EX, which was really good. A lot of people was like, you gave away EX for a pre-release promo? And I, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go to a couple pre-releases. So I have a couple of these guys. Um, Darkrai, which I definitely played, and Mew EX. Um, he was just recently reprinted, so that is good. Um, I keep two blank spaces usually to help uh, keep uh, so I can expand if I need to. So this is actually Arceus's from the Supreme Victory. No, from the actual Arceus set. Um, that was the Platinum Arceus set. So uh, um, they actually created. If you actually take all the cards, if you see all the cards, they have like waves on them. If you take all the cards and line them up. Starting with the regular Arceus, it actually starts like a huge wave pattern, just a huge ripple pattern. And you can see I started off with these guys up here to the middle and then to the farther of the right cards. So it's definitely really sweet because um, Arceus actually has a rule that you can play as many Arceus as you would like in your deck. And it says it right there on that card. See, right there. You can play as many of these cards in your deck as you like which a lot of people played uh there was a couple people who tried to make rcs work and it was it was not too bad it wasn't too bad at all um these are more promos that they released they released uh the first one during cities states and regionals and so as you got to the bigger tournaments they were able to uh like evolve which was really cool um here's secret rares and this is from, um, what set is this from? Uh, 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 I do not remember. Um, I will, uh, Storm. <sighs> Plasma Storm? No. No. I will think of it, and then I will come back to it. I will remember it. And then um, we have uh, the Rotoms, which they were released. I'm missing the Phantom. Uh, so I have the Frost Roll Time, the Wash, and the Mo Time, but I don't have the Fan Roll Time. Um, those are secret rares from Rising Rival. And then we actually have more, uh, they came, uh, during the Platinum sets, they actually released secret rares too, shiny versions. And so I was able to collect a lot of those, which was really awesome. Um... Here is more. I actually uh, end up buying a box of this. This is actually from Plasma. So I end up buying a Plasma box in Japanese and was able to get a Swab Blue. <laughs> and so I decided to keep them. Um, these are promos that were released. Uh, they were released uh, uh, right along with the uh, Call of Legends set. And so the Call of Legends set actually had. Uh, shiny versions of each of these uh, legendary Pokemon, which is really cool. Um, here's the little chuckle. Uh, here's a few of my Charizards that I have. Um, this Charizard is actually from, he's actually from Crystal, Crystal Guardian, and they decided to play around with their the Pokemon's DNA, right? And so they made them different types. So this is actually uh, metal and f uh, electric. So I will show you that. See that? Isn't that really cool? Um, I have a Charizard, which he is not in the best condition. He is actually really old and he has some creases in him and things like that. Um, I have two surfing Pikachus, which they reprinted again. So I'm going to end up putting a. Uh, evolution version of Pikachu in here too. Uh, this Surfing Pikachu is also from Rising Rivals, and this was the original promo Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu. So that is cool. 
So we have, um, like I said, I ended up buying um, a plasma uh, box, which brought in the Swablu and a Electabuzz. And then I have the best winner Electabuzz. As you can see, it's the best version. And you can see it says best there. And then uh, I have the platinum version of the reprint. So I don't have the, I have the original somewhere. Um, and now uh, we get on to the Scythers. The Scyther is the same way. I have the Platinum, I have the Platinum Japanese, and I have the Jungle Scyther. Um, I have the um, original Japanese um, a chan, uh, Hitmonchan, I have the Platinum Hitmonchan, and then I have um, the English Hitmonchan, and then I have the Best, which is also the same. It has the Best in the corner. Um, this Latios and Latias are just uh, promos. Uh, we have Cresselia Toxicroak G, which I actually played in my Luxray Dialga deck. We have a Forever uh, Pokemon Forever Celebi promo. Um, we have some Evolutions uh, uh, Championship series. Uh, this is Cities and this is uh, States, which. When this actually, when they started telling us about these evolutions, I got so excited. I couldn't like, I couldn't handle it. It was quite amazing. Uh, um, so, you know what? I just, <laughs> we're going to go back. Because I told you guys I would remember. I would sit there and remember where I got these. These are actually from Stormfront. I knew it was Storm something. This is Stormfront. <laughs> All right. Now we're going on. <laughs> so we have Roaring Skies. Uh, we have another regionals promo. We have Phantom Forces. And we have some um, other promos. Now we're going to move on to the EX series. And some more EX series. These are actually from Plasma Storm and Plasma Freeze. So um, we have uh, Plasma... Pokemon. So we have Plasma Lugia, Moltres, and Zapdos, um, which I don't have Articuno, which I need Articuno in my life too. So I still have to get that. I gotta remember to try and get that at some point. We have more Plasma Pokemon. And then we have um, Black Kyurems. And then we have a White Kyurem, which I'll show you him. And Groudon. All right, from over here, we have uh, Landorus EX. Uh, we have Celebi, which I actually played um, with Flygon, because Flygon um, spread damage. Uh, the Vibrava did 60 and then did 10 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And Flygon had, if your, uh, any of your opponent's Pokemon had damage on them they take 10 damage in between turns so it helped it compound damage and stuff like that it was fun it wasn't really competitive but it was really fun to play um i have keldeo which i actually played keldeo blastoise back in the day so that was fun to play um we have some shamans now this is actually from the first radiant collection okay now um the radiant collection came along with um a whole bunch of different Pokemon. It was a second, uh, it was a dual set, okay? It came, it was in, um, it was in, uh, what is, gosh, Call of Legends, no, was it Call of Legends? No, it wasn't Call of Legends. It was, um, what was that set? Oh my gosh. Was it Call of Legends? Let me see. This is, it was, uh, Legendary Treasures. Legendary Treasures. That's what it was. Legendary Treasures and um, this is from the Radiant Collection part of it, okay? Um, it came, like, the EX like ratio was a lot bigger than your normal box of Pokemon. So you were able to pull probably, like, 10 to 15 EXs out of a box, which was crazy. And so um, I ended up deciding I wanted to collect the whole collection. 
and I saw it and I was like, this is so cute. I have to, have to get as many as possible. So this is actually just my extras. I actually have the collection at the back here. So you guys will see that soon. These are my secret, uh, my rare, secret rare trainer, uh, trainers. So we have these guys, which these guys were released back in uh, the plasma, storm plasma freeze era. And then we have Chorus, Teammates. We have some Maxis, Hidden Ball Tricks, and Archies, and Wallies. And then, here we go. We have the Japanese stat, okay? I wanted to keep that a little surprise. I end up collecting the Japanese Radiant Collection first. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. I need it in my life. And so, that's what I did. I collected that first. Look at this Pikachu. It is so cute. You guys have to see the Eevee too. That Eevee. I'm, I I live for the Eevee. And that Garnivore. Look at that. The the background on the Garnivore texture. I mean text. Isn't that cool? Alright. Um, so. They reprinted it in English. And then I collected the English part. And look at this Eevee. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so cute? Ah, oh, all right. Enough over there. And then here are the English versions of the EXs and regular Moga full art. So, all right, that's my first binder. Um, I will try to put little tabs in the uh, description to let you guys know what collections so we'll go with the older collection, the newer collection, and then I will uh, have another tab for like the fake cards and the no trade cards and my miscuts and misprints. All right, all right, let's look at this. These are the newer cards. So this binder is newer, as you can see. We have the newer EXs, and these are ones I just been collecting. And so I have extras and things like that. Hoopa can do anything. Um, Gallade, I actually played Gallade for a little bit. I played Gallade uh, um, Gorgeist, which was pretty good because Gorgeist spread damage too. And you know what? I love spread damage decks for some reason because um, he does 110 and then 30 to each Pokemon that has damage on it too. So I think I love that kind of those kind of decks. So. Um, like I said, sometimes I, I keep the two spaces to expand. We have Malamar EX full art, which is really good. I love that art. It's really cool. All right. We have Dark Ray Yveltal. Yveltal's being played a lot right now. Scizor, this is the deck I'm currently playing. We have Aegislash, Latios, lots of Latioses, <laughs> uh, more Latioses, uh, Kingdra, Garatina, which I actually played, Mega Charizard X, which is really cool. Um, I have actually two of those. And then Florges. I have the regular and the full art version of him. And I have two full art Xerneas EXs and a Carnivore EX Mega full art. <laughs> uh, three Seismitoads was I, which these are actually from my deck. I actually played this. I played Seismitoad Lock a lot. So I actually love that mechanic. Um, Charizard X again. And he is actually from Generations. And then I have Charizard Y. Um, I organized it by color, as you can guys can see. Um, Houndooms and Lurkarius and Zagards. Oh yeah. Alright, we have Thunderuses and Monetrix, which I also played. These are actually from my deck that I played. We have a regular uh, Monetrix and then we have a secret rare Monetrix. If you guys want to see the difference between those. You guys can look and see that this has a black border and this has a gold border. So that's secret rare. 
Um, I also have the Kangaskhan that's secret rare. So I'll show you guys that. Like regular Kangaskhan and the secret Mega Kangaskhan. All right. Now I have pages of Rayquaza. <laughs> it's just crazy. But yeah, I definitely have a couple pages of these guys. Um, like I said, this isn't all of my cards, so I have five breaks and that's it. But I think I think that's it. Yeah, I only have five breaks in here, which I have to put more of them in there, but they're still packed up. So I actually played Zorak. That's why I have two of them. And then I have Radicate, Noivern, and Raichu. And that is it. I'm also going to show you guys something special. This is actually really near and dear to me. One of my uh, league kits one at my Pokemon League drew this for me about five, six years ago. And as you guys can see, it uh, doesn't have the Sylveon in it. And I love, love Leafeon, Jolteon. Those are like my super faves. And it's just really adorable because Eevee doesn't know who he wants to be. So that, I always keep this in my binder too. So, but if you guys didn't notice, I also have large cards. Um, this was a promo given out a long time ago. I don't know exactly where and when it was given out, but it is really, really cool. They have the giant version of Arceus, Rocket Sneasel, Zark's, uh, Zora and Celebi. This is actually from the movie and I got two of them because I end up taking one of my friends who didn't play Pokemon and they're like, here you go. You can have two of them. So that was cool. We have Reggie Gigas. And then they had full the uh, the full uh, legend cards put together as a giant card. Uh, Victini, Keldeo, Palkia, Mega Swampert, Mega Blaziken, Dialga, Darkrai. Flygon EX. Uh, yep. And then we have. Uh, you're supposed to put your name here, like Michael's Oshawa. And it, it does. Uh, it actually, if you look, you can see that it has like texture on it. And it has the, like the little balls in the back actually move, which is cool. Uh, same thing with the Zorak. The texture and the little dark. So energy symbol moves, which is cool. And then I have Snivy, which is the same way. And Tepic. Whoop. And another Zarek. I have another Darkrai. I have a Mega Absol, which I just got not too long ago because I opened it on Wacky Wednesday. And we have Zarek's and the Legendary Pokemon. So... Um, yeah, and so that's just my regular current binder, so, and I, like I said, I will put little tags for you guys. All right, let's move on to my note trade, my special, special binder. Now, I was able to trade this a while ago at Nationals, and as you can see, it has the evolutions on it, which is really cool. And on the side, it has Lugia and then the Evolutions at the time. This actually, the Spider was made in 2005. So those were the only Pokemon out, only Evolutions out that at that time. But um, this has some of the very, like, really special cards to me. These cards are really special. This sticker was given to me by one of my League kids. Um, I have Vaporeon EX and Espeon EX. And then I have Jotian EX, which I actually played in a deck. Um, I played Jotian uh, uh, for Alligator, which it's a, it's a funny thing. I love spread damage decks because Evolutionary Thunder, when you evolve Jotian EX, you can place one damage counter on all your opponent's Pokemon. And then uh, for Alligator did um, 70 and then did 10 more for each damage on your opponent's Pokemon on your opponent's active Pokemon so Then I have Flareon EX which has evolutionary flame 
which uh, I played in a deck called Flariados, which when you evolve uh, Flarian EX, you are burned and confused. And then um, Ariados had a attack where it did like 30 and then 30 more for each special condition that you had on uh, your, your opponent's active Pokemon. So there is uh, Flareon EX and Vaporeon Star. Vaporeon Star is actually from Power Keepers, which I was hoping I pulled when I opened up that Power Keepers box a little bit ago for you guys. I was hoping to pull one of these uh, uh, Vaporeon, uh, Vaporeon, Flareon, or Jolteon Stars for you guys, so you guys, so I can send it out to one of you guys. But <sighs> no luck for no luck for me. All right, now. This is an Umbreon Star and an Espeon Star. These are uh, these are actually from a promo set called uh, the Pop Five series. Um, Pop Five series um, came with three cards, and they were giving out at um, some tournaments, and they were given out as uh, player rewards. So when you played at tournaments and played at league and stuff. They would mark you down, and then every like six months or so, they will send you some uh, uh, pop packs. And I was able to pull the Umbreon out of a pack, and I was able to trade for the Espeon, which these cards are actually really expensive right now. They are crazy expensive. And I was lucky to get two, which I actually now have three of each one. So... Um, I got, um, Jotion Star and Flareon Star. As you can see, those are actually from the Power Keeper, the Power Keeper set, again, that I tried to open one for you guys. Um, and these cards mean so much to me. I will never, ever trade any of these cards out of this binder. Um, I have a base set Charizard, which is, uh, he's actually in really good condition. And that's cool. And I have a Mew Star. Um, he's actually blue. He's actually from the Delta Species Day. He is from Dragon's Frontier. And it is really cool. Um, we have another Mew Delta Species. This one is Fire. Um, he is actually from the Pop 5 series also. So, that is really, really cool. We have Rylu. We have... Some Leafeons. Leafeons my favorite evolution, if you guys didn't know that. And so I put the Leafeon level X in this binder because he will never get traded, ever. Um, he is from Majestic Dawn. Um, I actually played him. He uh, has a Poke Power called uh, Energy f uh, Forcing. Once during your turn, you may attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. All right, And that doesn't count as an energy attachment. So you're able to do two energy attachments for turn. And then we have Verted Dance, which does 30 uh, damage plus 10 more for each energy attached to all your Pokemon. So I would energy forcing stuff and then attach stuff. Um, this was given to me by one of my Pokemon League kits, and so it went immediately in this binder and it will never get traded. Um, uh, we're moving on to the unknown special trainers. They're called Alpha Lith Lithographs. Um, this one says, look at all of your face down prize cards. Um, this one says, shuffle your hand. This one says, look at your opponent's hand. And this says, return any uh, stadium card um, in play to uh it's player's hand. There you go. Whew, I had a little bit of trouble saying that. Whew. All right. Um, these are victory cups and victory medals that are earned during uh, uh, Battle Roads. Battle Roads is basically um, league challenges, kind of. Um, but, yeah, I was able to earn uh, two winner ones, which one year was uh, it was gold and one year was silver. So... I have a couple of these, and then they switched them to victory cups, and then put what place you were able to get. So this victory cup says I got first place in it, and this one says I got third. 
here's more uh, battle roads um, this is two more that I earned this one's from 2007 2008 this one's from 2009 2010 um, 2006 2007 and this one is from 2007 and 2008 uh, if you look at the corner at the bottom this one says autumn this one says spring and these ones are both spring so um, this is a scoop up cyclone uh, I was I don't know why it's in here uh, <laughs> I actually liked it I, I think I like the art I really like the art I actually don't know why it's actually in this binder but but it's in this binder so it's never getting traded but it's there um, this card was given to me by one of the uh, Pokemon players at Worlds 2011. Um, so that was cool. I played a side game with him, and he was like, here you go, you could have this. And I'm like, all right, that is really awesome, thank you. Um, these are uh, misprints that I was actually really, really excited to get. Um, these are Volpexes, but uh, Volpex was printed in... Heart goes soul silver, but these are undaunted uh, symbols, and so that is really cool because these were actually put in promo like promo packs, and so they have the wrong set printed on them, and it was the same thing because you got one uh, nine tails and one Volpex, and so I was able to get those three. Um, one of my friends gave me. Uh, Lugia Ele Elemental Blast cards, which was really cool. Um, I have a lot of shiny Magic Carps and a shiny Gyarados, which is really awesome. Um, I was able to collect these, and I think I traded at Worlds for this one, which is really, really cool. I have... A shiny Stilix, which I love the art, so he went in there. I actually have a shiny, like an old shiny collection too, which I will be gladly to share with you guys, but I really love this art, so he automatically went in the binder. We have a red Gyarados, which is amazing, which he is actually a Delta species too, and he is from Phantom Forces. So that is cool. Oh, wrong way. This is a Deoxys EX. This was actually given to me by my nephew. Uh, my nephew, he played at Worlds in 2005. And when you, uh, back then, uh, they will give you packs from each of the countries. And my nephew ended up opening this. And as soon as he got back, he's like, Uncle Mikey, this is for you. I opened this out of a Japanese pack, which was really, really, really awesome. Um, did I skip over my Palkias? I did. I don't know why. I wanted to go back. I'm sorry. We're going to go back real quick. Um, these are level X's. This is actually a Palkia level X that I opened. It's in Italian. I opened this at Worlds 2008. I actually played myself and I got a pack from each of the worlds, uh, from each of the countries at Worlds. And so... That is why he's in there. And then Empoleon, he's actually a misprint. He has a Supreme Command Pokey Power, but it says Pokey Body there, which is supposed to be red. So as you can see, the text is red, and it's supposed to be green if it's actually a real body. So I, was, I apologize for that. I don't know why I skipped that. I was wondering if I skipped over that. And then 2011 Worlds, I end up vol volunteering after I end up um, missing the uh, grinder, which is a special tournament the day before Worlds. And if you win that tournament, you're able to play at Worlds. But I end up missing, so I end up volunteering to help and at getting that Tropical Beach, which at at some time, like at during the actual uh, uh, format, that card, this Tropical Beach was up to like hundred and ninety nine dollars so that was really really cool so I have a misprint Charizard which it's fire 
and all his attacks are supposed to be fire too. But this one, if you can see, that is a fighting type energy, which is hilarious. Um, this ace trainer is this ace trainer was only given out at European um, at European uh, regionals, I think. Yes, it was only given out at European regionals. And so I was able to get those for judging at an event. We have Venus Soriax, Charizard X. They're from Leaf Fire Red, Leaf Green. And I'm missing Blastoise. And so I have a space for them right there for my Blastoise EX that I still have to get. I have a Gyarados EX. And I have two full art chor choruses. One is a misprint and one isn't. That's why I have them in the binder like that. Um, I don't know if you can actually see. Uh, you can kind of see. If you look and you can see the waves going like that, they're supposed to be wavy there, if you can see that. Um, it's actually messing out of this one. And so I end up keeping those and trading for those, which is cool. We have um, Charizard Star which is also a Delta species, and he's from Dragon's Frontier, too. We have a Suicune. And we have an Eevee promo, which is really cool, because he has a Poke Power called Chain Reaction. This can be played only when a Pokemon evolves. Uh, search your deck for a card that evolves from Eevee and attach it to Eevee. This counts as evolving Eevee. So you can actually, like evolve another Pokemon, and then evolve Eevee, which was really, really cool. Uh, here's a Rocket Sneasel, which um, in my binder of large cards, you also saw the large version of him. So that is cool. And then we have our Secret Rare Trainers. I have Energy Switch, Energy Switch, a Hands Hammer, uh, Rare Candy Switch, Versus Seekers, uh, Versus Seekers and Random Receivers. And then we have my two ends, which um, it has a slight misprint. It's like a misprint. If you look here, you can see that line that goes all the way down. This one doesn't have a line. So that's why he's in there. And then we have Garnivores, which when they reprinted Garnivore EX, I was ecstatic. Because Garnivore EX was actually my first deck I actually played when I um, came back to Pokemon. So, I just started collecting Garnivores, and then when Garnivore uh, came out in 2008, I played Garnivore Gallade, and so I kind of started collecting Gallades too. So I had to get a couple of each of those. Um, these are Champion Festivals, which uh, I end up judging. So this one was Champion Festival 2014 which was in uh, uh, Washington, D.C. And then this is uh, Worlds 2015, which was in Boston. So I was able to get those for judging, and so I was super pumped about that. All right, and here's some more little promos that were given out. Uh, this Eevee was given out at the Build-A-Bear workshop, so when I got my Eevee, I was able to, uh, my Build-A-Bear Eevee, they gave me that promo. Uh, cool Porygon, I got from one of my lead kids. Um, this is a Garatina, which uh, it's special because I love the art, so I decided I wasn't going to trade them and keep them. Um, this Politoed, this Politoed actually means a lot to me. Um, one of my dear, dear friends and um, fellow Pokemon player, um, he... Uh, had cancer he had brain cancer and so they had a fundraising tournament and they made a uh, little promos for it stay strong nick bailey unfortunately he uh he lost his battle uh but um i have polytoads and pictures and promo cards just to always remember them all right all right love you nick bailey love you all right um Here's more of my EXs. I have Espeon. Oh, oh yeah. I have Espeon EX and Vaporeon EX. 
and I have Espeon Star, and this is actually uh, my, this was given to me for staffing the Evolutions pre-release. If you look, it's the Charizard staff card, which is amazing. We were so lucky to get it. So lucky to get it. So, and then I have a Glaciani X and a Meryl. He is actually from a Tropical Island uh, set, which was really, really cool. We have more Evolutions. We have Umbreon and Sylvia. And we have Flareon and Flareon. And then we have Vaporeon. Uh, this was given to me by one of my friends uh, for my birthday, so which is really, really cool. It's a Tropical Tidal Wave from 2010 Worlds. And it said staff on it, so that's cool. Uh, we have some shamans. Obviously, there had to be shamans in my binder. This is uh, one. Of, this is actually the first shaman full art I pulled. I said immediately, he is never getting traded. He's going to sit in the binder and be awesome. I have another Espeon and a Mega Garnivore from Generations, which is cool because it's also shiny. By the way, this is the shiny version. And this is the non-shiny version. So that is really cool. Alrighty. Now we're moving on to my miscuts and misprints. Which is super awesome. Alright. So. I'm going to show you these cards. Uh, it does kind of show up pretty well. This is a regular fairy energy. And if you look compared to these guys. These are lighter. So these are all misprinted lighter. This actually came from a theme deck one of my kids, one of my Lee kids opened, and they're like, Mikey, we have to give you these. And I'm like, are you serious? This is too sweet. And so I have all of those guys. Um, you can't really tell on the camera. This versus Seeker is the regular versus Seeker. And these guys are actually, let's see. These guys are actually faded, so... I think you can see that more with the float stone because the, the text up there isn't so black. But yeah, these are faded too. So that's cool. Same thing with these guys. These guys are faded and so are these. Um, same thing with these Ultra Balls and these Lysanders and Switches. They're all faded, which I wish... I wish the camera could tell, but it looks like they just look like regular to me. But during, like when you look at them in real life, they're actually really light. Um, this is the opposite. This Manetric Spirit Link is really dark. That border is so dark. All right, and then we're going to get into the miscuts. Look at this Keldeo EX. It is off to the side. Isn't that crazy? This is really messed up. The Growl, Growl Down EX name in hit points is gone. This is actually illegal to play in tournaments because you can't see the hit point amount and you can't see the name of the Pokemon. Um, this pri Primal Growl Down is the same way. It's slightly cut. You can see the extra border down here of the card, um, of the next card. We have... Aaron, uh, Agron EX, same thing, miscut at the top. Um, this is actually from Ancient Origins. And so, uh, Primal Clash. That's from Primal Clash. This is from Primal Clash. And Primal Clash seem to have tons of issues with it. So, that is awesome. Uh, we have Sharpedo EX and Camera Up and Garnivore, which I was super pumped. Uh, like it was misprinted so I was like oh yeah if you look at the back of these cards too it just shows you how miscut they are it's crazy uh, Rayquaza got this at Nationals it's miscut too alright and then we have these guys miscut Blastoise Teddy Ursa Ursa Ring alright miscut miscut Miscut, 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 and then we're going to get on to our crimped. 
All right, if you can see that, that shop it is so cramped. That bronzer, so cramped. The Drapion and Licky Licky, crimped and cut. It is crimped and cut. Same thing with this one, crimped and cut. And then I have a crimped Acro bike, and then I have a crimped and cut code. Look at that. And then I have a blank code, which is really sweet. So, like I said, this isn't all of my miscuts and stuff like that. That's just some of them. And our last binder. Our last binder, guys. All right. I have the fake binder, which is a little binder, but I have more cards. I don't really binder up a lot of my fake cards. I just pick out some of the cool little ones and put them in a binder. Like this Gibble with 5,000 hit points, which is crazy. And he has a three retreat. This Dino with 6,000 hit points and three retreat. This Rock and Rolla, 7,000 hit points and a five retreat. He is going nowhere. He is going nowhere. This Boldor, 9,000, five retreat. Houndoom, 10,000 hit points, five retreat. <laughs> this Rufflet, 5,000 hit points, five retreat. And they had a special hollow rufflet, 5,000 hit points, five retreat. These are so fake. Um, I'm going to actually do a series on telling the difference between a fake card and a real card. Um, this guy is fake. Um, you can tell by the way it's printed. And you can tell um, the font and the energies. Um, this guy is fake. You can tell by the hollow foil. It looks like a mirror, and that's not how they did it. And the energies, if you guys can see, those energies look really different from the energy cost from this guy. See? And then, which I had, I wish we had better cameras. This Electric Kid, 390 hit points. And it is a fighting type, which he's supposed to be fire, I mean electric. And it's actually a sticker. This is actually a sticker also. So, and then obviously those backs are so fake. Porygon 2, he is a fire type? No, I don't think so. And he is a sticker also. Look at that Moltres. <laughs> He is obviously super fake. He is supposed to be from Fates Collide. Um, oh, wait. Psh. All right, look at this card. Can anybody tell me what that card is? If you said Weezing, you are wrong. It is a Nittle King. <laughs> that is funny. Nittle King for a Weezing card. And then we have a Ching Ling. Ching Ling. So... <laughs> And we have a Shaman, which is super shiny Shaman. And then we have a Cordilli, which I actually, I need to take this out and show you guys. This is like the very first full art card. If you look, this is really, this is actually textured. It is textured, which there has never been a card, a regular card that was from like, this is actually some from Power Keepers. And it's just textured, which is weird. And it's fake because obviously it's not from Power Keepers looking like this. Alrighty, moving on. Now we have Garchomp Level X, which he's supposed to be hollow and he's not hollow. We have a Miss Barrett EX, which is supposed to be hollow and he's not hollow. We have a Float Soul, GL Level X, which, if you look, I'm going to show you the Torterra and the Float Soul. Um, Pokemon did not make um, mirror cards. So, if you look at the, the hollow on it, it looks like a mirror. Like, you can look at your reflection in it. And the hollow foil on it is actually, f just, it's just fake. And... I actually traded this for one of my league kids um, because I wanted to get it off the streets. But 
when I told him it was fake. He got upset and said, I'm just going to throw it away. And he started to bend it. I'm like, no, I'll take it. And then I put it in a binder. And that's where it sits. So. And that is my Pokemon collection, guys. That is, well, part one. We'll say part one of my collection. So I will definitely get the rest of my cards ready to show you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I loved talking about it. Um, like I said, I've been collecting for a while and, um, I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. All right, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, but I don't, I hope you liked it, but always be cool and awesome and subscribe. You guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you guys later. Bye.